They power many of the devices we use at home, but this is what can happen when a lithium-ion battery explodes. It's becoming a problem nationwide. In Queensland alone, there were 46 house fires linked to these batteries in the year to June. With the proliferation of devices that now are powered by lithium-ion batteries, that number is likely to increase considerably in the coming years. It's believed charging batteries caused two fatal fires in the state this year, including a six-year-old boy who was killed in an intense blaze in Brisbane, but investigations are continuing. This e-scooter exploded in a southeast Queensland high-rise due to a failed lithium-ion battery. Overcharging can occur, overheating can occur, and in that instance, the lithium-ion battery becomes extremely dangerous. I do expect over the summer that we might get more battery explosions because of that combination of heat and charging. Experts say the potential danger can be minimised. Problem comes with failing to use the correct charger, or indeed, if the device has been subject to any form of damage, that just greatly increases the risk. I would recommend not charging it, say, on bedding, so anything that's flammable, because it can get hot when you're charging it. If there's smoke or fire, turn the power off, if possible, and leave the house immediately. It's not only do we have the threat of fire, but the toxic fumes can also be extremely dangerous to humans. And then, of course, call triple zero immediately. And do not dispose of old or damaged batteries in your council bin. Melanie Vujkovic, ABC News, Brisbane.